In overtime, Kyrie Irving with 27 points on 9 of 24 shooting. He striped six threes in this one to help the Nets get the win. Here's Kyrie post game. Hey, Kai, what was, you know, San Antonio goes on their rally to close regulation. What was said in, in the huddle to, to regroup and go once again back on attack mode to start the overtime and close them out? Uh, well, we felt like we gave up that lead too easily and down the stretch, just a few miscues, a few miscommunications, just things that we want to clean up. So, you know, we got to take this one on the chin, <laughs> just like anything else. It just, I don't want to call it laziness, but just our focus level wasn't matching the intensity in terms of where uh, San Antonio was trying to get back in the game. Felt like we had the game one in regulation. I think we all can agree with that. Um, but, you know, sometimes nights like this take overtime. And I think it's been, what, 19, 20 years since we got a win here. So another history or another <laughs> historical record out the window for our team, which I'm grateful to be a part of. Um, you know, so it's a great team, team accolade um, coming to San Antonio and just getting a win. You, you obviously with your teammates are trying to build something special in Brooklyn. When you look at a team like San Antonio and their, you know, years of success and what they have been able to do, you know, what do you draw from that as you and your teammates put your own stamp on building something special in Brooklyn? Uh, well, I think first and foremost, you got to give credit to the leadership that they've established here in terms of that culture. Um, you know, San Antonio is known as a winning organization, and that, that's exactly uh, part of our goals here is to set that standard for years to come so the next generation that comes in, um, you know, understands an example of, of what a great team looks like, uh, you know, has an established, uh, you know, role playing culture, but also we're very flexible and um, very understanding. And then we have a standard of greatness, standard of excellence. It's just we want to meet that standard. I, and I think every day we get a chance to prove that to one another. So uh, San Antonio has definitely been one of those great teams as an, as an example in our league that we can learn from. And we'll continue to do so as long as Pop's at the helm. And, you know, you got those five championships <laughs> up there hanging. You know, it's a reminder every time you step in San Antonio of what excellence looks like. So, Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, Kyrie, two parts for me. Uh, you did almost let it get away at the, in the fourth quarter, but overall, when you look at this game, it was such an improvement over the Mavericks game with the way you guys played defense and only five turnovers. What accounted for that, uh, number one? And then also, secondly, uh, how big a role did uh, Bruce Brown play, especially in the second half for you guys? Yeah, well, absolutely. You know, I could agree with, uh, you know, in you in, in terms of the difference in games, uh, but it, it really comes down to our execution. You know, I don't want to be cliche with that word execution because, you know, every team wants to have a high level of execution. Uh, but for us, we feel like our execution is when we're playing free and we're playing the right way and the ball's hopping and we're all feeling good um, about the pace that we're playing at. You know, other teams, when they dictate the pace, dictate the pace against us, it, you know, it, it's hard to kind of adapt. So we, we want to put our own um, mark on the game by staying physical uh, and, and continuing to play the right way. Extra passes, you know, um, spreading back. And there's just no easy baskets. And I feel like San Antonio got a lot of easy baskets tonight, which is why I believe the game was as close as it was. Um, so we just want to continue to improve uh, moving forward to this Houston game before All-Star break. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Kyrie, huge game from Nick tonight. Um, I think career high in points. Can you talk about what you've seen from him behind the scenes that you, that might have led you guys to believe that he was capable of this type of game? Uh, well, I mean, being being in this role, there is, you know, you, you're always in the public eye anytime you go outside. So, uh, you know, behind the scenes for us is when we get to work on, on our games and uh, be able to perform out there at a very high level. And he's been hurt, uh, you know, and I said it the last time I, I somebody asked me about Nick, uh, you know, for me, I just want him to continue to learn, continue to progress. And what was separated him uh, in the last few weeks is just his attentiveness and his focus and his commitment to getting on the floor and earning his playing time. You know, that's the big thing here is just earning your playing time. Uh, we got a lot of great guys that could go out there and fill spots. Uh, but Nick being the, <laughs> the younger guy, sort of say, you know, we just want him to learn uh, from the best of the best and what it takes to be uh, the best of the best. And he, he's, he's taking the tools and applying it. So. You just want to continue to do well, um, as well as the other guys.